We've spent the last week relaxing with our family in this beautiful villa in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. In this video, we're gonna take you along with us on two day trips that are easy to take from Tamarindo, as well as go over some great dining options in town. Although visiting the beaches nearby was by far our favorite thing to do, we decided to venture north to Diamante Adventure Park for the day. We paid for the full day pass. It was $118 per adult and it's zip lining, including the Superman zip line. There's a botanical garden, a cultural center, and an animal sanctuary, um, and a beach, and lunch is included. The drive should have taken about an hour, but everything in Costa Rica is an adventure. And we got stuck in some crazy traffic, and we even had to traverse a couple of rivers to get there. Now, do we drive in the river? <laughs> And there's horses waiting. <laughs> what in the world? And that's one of the nicer roads in Costa Rica. <laughs> when we finally arrived, we headed straight to the zip line. You start off with a trial to be sure you're comfortable. Ready, Eric? Yep. Party time. Got a lot mixed up down there right now. <laughs> I think the beads are on top of the price. <laughs> oh, amigo, stand up! How was it? Really good. Get very tall, amigo. Sorry. After that, they load you into trucks and take you up to the very top of a huge hill. Look down. Look down. I'm only looking <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> you excited? <laughs> We weren't sure if our youngest kids would be able to do the Superman line. <laughs> but they loaded them up with some extra weight to be sure they made it down without getting stuck. The zip line is almost a mile long and it takes over a minute to complete. Wow! Woo! After the Superman, there are several more lines to do. Then you end with the crocodile bridge walk to the animal sanctuary. Then we took a shuttle down to the private beach, which we had all to ourselves. So this beach is great, other than the jellyfish, which are few and far between. Like the sting yet feels like a bee sting. We're going on a boat. I'm at our yacht. Food and drinks included. <laughs> There's snorkeling, lots of activities we can do. I'll just try to escape the sun. You know, you're the only person wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt on the beach. Oh, wow. We would highly recommend doing a catamaran tour if you're in Tamarindo. <laughs> However, do your research. We didn't, and we ended up paying quite a bit more than we should have. Even so, we had a great day. We even got to witness a bunch of stingrays jumping out of the water. Now on to food. 
For authentic Costa Rican food, the best place to go is always a local soda. But for a quick drink on the beach, we seem to end up at El Chiringuito quite a bit. Very much enjoying this, but I do have to say, I, I couldn't live in this temperature year round. I have to have the cold climate. Your, your Viking blood is boiling. Scandinavian side <laughs> is screaming right now. And for breakfast on the beach, our favorite was Waffle Monkey. You order at the storefront, then you find a table either in the shady garden or on the beach. If you want, you can even go for a dip while you're waiting. The waffles are reasonably priced and they come in all kinds of flavors. Definitely kid and adult approved. If you want to splurge, walk along the beach at sunset. There are tons of restaurants to choose from. One of our favorites was Pico Bistro. Both the food and the service were excellent, and they even had kid-friendly options. That was really good. The textures are the best part. Another option further down Tamarindo Beach is the Red Door. Its beautiful setting is worth a visit, and it's usually less crowded than other options in the center of town. <laughs> the sunset here is hard to beat. Just watch out for the crocodiles and hermit crabs. Oh, full of crabs. <laughs> yeah. In the Playa Langosta neighborhood just a few minutes south of Tamarindo, you'll find Walter's Fish and Cheeses. It's an Italian market and kitchen that serves traditional Italian food. Still drinking wine. <laughs> Sam, it's so weird that you got this. I don't know, it's really branching out. <laughs> we were very impressed by each dish. And of course, we all had to try the gelato. Tonight, I've had some of the best food I've had in a while. This place is awesome. <laughs> we should go back to Italy. Okay, we'll see you.